back to the Chevrolet Post Game. into a good one next Sunday night at SoFi and the Chargers are on a roll since the bye Justin Herbert getting healthy and continuing to lead a solid team as the Chargers got another victory today over Tennessee they'll take on the Cincinnati Bengals we'll see Burrow and Herbert we've seen Jim Harbaugh build teams over the years right of course with Stanford and obviously the 49ers the folks watching the Lions fans know what he did at Michigan we're kind of watching something build like that again with what he's doing year one with the Chargers. He knows how to build quarterbacks. We yeah, know that. Yeah. And this is going to be a great matchup. I mean, it, it really is. Joe Burrow and what he did the other night with Jamar Chase. Oh. And these two guys are going to go at it. But some of my favorite production meetings, we get to go in with Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh I, I, I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait. He's going to be magical. I know that. Look forward to seeing it. it could be, and an important game, too, because they're sixth and eighth in the AFC right now. It's a little early to start the playoff stuff, but man, a head-to-head -head win could matter a lot when it gets a lot colder. But how weird was our game tonight? Oh my gosh. We didn't have a quarterback as the star of the game. That's got to be <laughs> the first we've point. ever done in the point. history of this program right. where we didn't have a quarterback as the star of the game. And one of the reasons was the kicker. It was Jake Bates who was the hero that uh, end of the game kick about as close as you'll ever see times two. Uh, you know, it's amazing how many lives change by that much yeah. right? right i mean it's just at the end of the year we're going to look back on that kick going in by a centimeter mm -hmm. and we're going to go look at what happened because of that kick and just a second ago in the visitors locker room here at nrg stadium jake bates got a game ball when they beat the vikings earlier he's got another one he's got our sunday night football under his arm as well pretty exciting game and i think it's a Houston team that if they keep playing like that, not in the second half offensively, you're going to see them continue to roll through the AFC South and be a postseason factor. Uh, they're definitely going to be in, but they have to be sick. They had that game that's tonight. Right. You know, this is one. You're at home. You've got to close that one out. Some big mistakes in the second half didn't come close to matching the production of what they did in the first half. And they have lost three of their last four. Now, tomorrow morning, wake up with the Today Show here on NBC. Go inside the game with the Houston Texans at the Nike Sport Research Lab to see where the NFL's iconic uniforms are. That's tomorrow morning on Today, right here on NBC. Terrific night here in Houston. Lions from 23-7 down scored the last 19. Beat the Texans 26 to 23. Coming up next, except on the West Coast here on your NBC station, it is your local news. Thank you to Hall of Famer Drew Esselkopf, our director, our great producer Rob Highland, our entire Sunday Night Football team with Terry McCauley, Melissa Stark, and Chris Collins, and Mike Tirico. Good night from Houston, where the Lions win by three. See you from Southern California next week. NBC Sports, thanks you for watching this presentation of the National Football League.